And it's getting worse and worse. They've got more legislation being rammed through right now. They have abolished at least three parts, maybe four, of the amendments to the Constitution. It's amazing. It is H.R. 3162. H.R. 3162. Before we get into police state and cashless society, let's go ahead and get into the USA Patriot Act, one of the nightmare pieces of legislation they've already passed. Let's just cover this a little bit for you. And it's getting worse and worse. They've got more legislation being rammed through right now. They have abolished at least three parts, maybe four, of the amendments to the Constitution. It's amazing. It is H.R. 3162. H.R. 3162. USA Patriot Act. Let's go to the USA Patriot Act. On Infowars.com, I actually have saved the USA Patriot Act. Orwellian name if I've ever heard one. Takes all the freedoms or attempts to. It's up to us if we give them up. Bill of Rights doesn't give us our freedoms. It simply points them out. It enumerates them. And they call it the USA Patriot Act. How Orwellian is that? It's the opposite of freedom. But they call it USA Patriot Act. See, I love America. And I'm not going to let America die. That flag symbolizes freedom and strength and sovereignty and real national security. Not a bunch of terrorist problem reaction solution experts pulling the rug out from the under the American people and then saying, we'll be your masters and keep, your, keep you safe, slaves. H.R. 3162, the USA Patriot Act. Let's go through some of the subsections. First off, you probably heard that it was sunsetted. You know, Bob Barr got up there on TV and said, this is a terrible bill. The only debate was whether to abolish the Constitution for four years or five. Well, funny, you read the Section 224 of H.R. 3162, and it clearly states, my friends, that there is no sunset for Section 203A, 203C, right through Section 222 and other sections not listed, whatever that means. So, again, Section 224, sunset. There is no sunset. Congress wasn't even allowed to read this bill. We'll get to news articles on that a little bit later. Congress wasn't allowed to read a bill. So read the sunset section. There is no sunset. But that's okay, because it only deals with foreign terrorists that wear turbans and have big beards, right? Let's read the definition of domestic terrorism of H.R. 3162. Section 802, paragraph A. Domestic terrorism is defined as involve acts dangerous to human life that are a violation of the criminal laws of the United States or of any state. Section 802, H.R. 3162. Again, there is the section. Go to Infowars.com. Look at it for yourself. All right, let's go ahead now and go to Section 213, one of the ones you might have heard about. Authority for delaying notice of the execution of of a warrant and it talks about secret warrantless searches breaking into your house when you're not there without a warrant taking whatever they want and not even telling you they were there by the way I've now spent about 10 hours reading this bill it's 1016 sections I found about 50 that gut the Constitution Bill of Rights I can't read 10,000 pages you go read the bill for yourself and get ready to get a barf bag out. I can't spend more than 10 hours on it. The more I dig, the more nightmares I find, ladies and gentlemen. So uh, there you have it, uh, warrantless secret searches. Uh, they got stuff for secret tribunals for terrorists, and the definition of a terrorist uh, is anybody that does anything. I mean, you name it, you do anything. You jaywalk, you get in a bar fight, uh, you uh, shoot your gun inside the city limits, you are a terrorist, can be extradited to a foreign country and tried secretly in a foreign country and executed in a foreign country. Go read the subsections. Oh, but don't worry. They give us anti-terrorism forfeiture protection in Section 316. Oh, really? It says you have a right to contest 
having all your assets seized at the time that you're accused of being a terrorist. Oh, really, no judge, no jury, you just have it seized. Unless it's under supplemental rules for certain admiralty and maritime claims. You look up admiralty and maritime, that is martial law. We'll get to mainstream news articles saying that a little bit later if you don't believe me. And, and I mean, it just goes on, uh, just section after section after section. I, I'm not even going to read any more of it. I mean, if you won't go check this out, if you don't care about your family out there, I feel sorry for you. Bottom line. That's why we're putting out this emergency report. And I thank those that uh, have gotten the film. If you're watching this, if a friend or a family member gave you this film, you ought to thank them for taking the time out to do it. Because people are authorized to make copies of this emergency report and spread it to the you know four winds. I want everybody to have this because we can affect change. Bush is in trouble. All that government prior knowledge. He's had to respond at the UN and tell us to shut up. And now Ashcroft's doing it. Amazing. Now you've seen the USA Patriot Act, and there's stuff even worse they're trying to pass on December 7th as we tape this emergency broadcast. Here's a small portion of uh, what they've gotten ran through since September 11th. Let's start with this. I find this particularly revealing, and the Washington Times has reported on this, but we have an actual copy of it. If you encounter any of the following, call the Joint Terrorism Task Force. What are they doing? They're teaching police, not that Islamics with, uh, you know, trying to hijack planes. That's not a problem. Remember the guy in Chicago had the same address as the hijackers in Chicago? And he, they, they find him with two knives. And, oh, my gosh, your name's Abdullah. We've got to let you right on board the plane. And they stopped him with another search that the stewardesses demanded, or the flight attendants, politically correct, and found seven knives, a taser gun, as well as mace. Well, nowhere in this new flyer the FBI is putting out nationwide to police departments everywhere does it say anything about people like that, or foreigners, or illegal aliens. No, it says people who make frequent references to the U.S. Constitution. And people who say they are defenders of the U.S. Constitution, it says if you encounter any of the following, call the Joint Terrorism Task Force. Now, are we living in the twilight zone here? This is like Red Dawn. They've taken over. They've used a crisis to get control. And they're putting out flyers to all the local police departments and sheriff's departments <coughs> saying that, that the American people, people that rally behind the flag and what America stands for and what that flag symbolizes and what those veterans fought and died for when you drive by the cemetery with all those little white crosses. Now, does that not blow you away out there? I mean, right here, call a member of the Phoenix FBI Joint Terrorism Task Force. This thing's gone out nationwide. Investigator Al Shearer, Maricopa County Attorney's Office, 602-650-3131. Federal Bureau of Investigation, 602-650-3163. That's 602-650-3163. Now, that's the FBI. And, and, and look at it. This was a color flyer. We have it scanned on the net, so it's uh, black and white. And you open the thing up, and that's what it says. Right here it says, make frequent references to the U.S. Constitution. Over here it says, U.S. Defenders of the Constitution. This is on my website, by the way. You can go read it. And, and, and it's been in the Washington Times. They wrote a story about this. I mean, th this is what they're doing. This is what they're using, the hysteria over terrorism, to get people rolling to do. See, wars outside threats get people in line. And so they're getting local police in line. They've said they're going to federalize local police. And this is what they're doing. And, and I predicted all this in past films, in, in, fact, in, in past live TV shows. In July 25th on my local Austin show. In fact, we'll show a clip of that right now. And then we'll come back and uh, get to all the government prior knowledge. We'll just hurry through this and then get into the police state the police state section, then we'll get into the martial law section, and much more. So just stay with us, ladies and gentlemen. There's just, there's just too much evidence. We'll be right back. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm so glad uh, that you could join us today for this Wednesday, July 25th, 2001 broadcast. 
tyranny is enveloping the globe, and the United States is a shining jewel the globalists want to bring down, and they will use terrorism as the pretext to get it done. So that's coming up in the second half of the show. Very important information. I'm going to put the call out that you call the White House and tell them, look, we've seen the news stories that you've wanted to blow things up, that you have blown things up, and that you're saying that four million of us are going to die and we need martial law and the Associated Press. One of your little drills you had. And that we're aware of who the terrorists are if you pull this. This can stop this Hitlerian Reichstag event. There's a problem, folks. The government is now using that here with Oklahoma City and the World Trade Center, which we have proven in documentaries I've made. General Benton Parton, former head of Air Force Weapons Development. Dr. Frederick Whitehurst, former head of the FBI Crime Lab. Poppy Heidelberg, grand juror, head grand juror in the Oklahoma